I'm going to be opening this Clerks Trading Mystery Box in this video. Hey, what's up YouTube? Casual Yugi Stuff back bringing you guys a mystery box opening. Clerks Trading's mystery box is in front of us today, guys, and I'm super duper excited to be opening this for you. I've never opened one of these up before, and if you are wondering what is inside of here, well, now's the time to find out because we're going to do it all together, guys. And if you're excited for the video, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm giving away this sealed Extra Hero Dread Decimator Hero Deck. If this video gets 75 likes, I'll choose a lucky winner in the comments at the end of every month in the community tabs where I post the giveaway winners, guys. So make sure you follow me um, on YouTube and check out on Instagram as well. Link down below. That's all you got to do, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. So, let's get straight into this mystery box, guys. But before we do, I need to shout out Better Call Yugi, or Better Call Skull, for allowing us to open this for him on the channel. It should be a pretty cool video. I've never really done many um, mystery box openings, so let's see if we can pull something insane. Um, the plan was that Better Call Skull was... Uh, he's, in from, he's from Germany, guys. He was, gonna, he was supposed to come and visit me uh, to crack this open with me in person, but uh, unfortunately... He was not able to come due to other commitments, but let's open this for him together on the channel. Oh my goodness, there's lots of goodies inside of this box. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, okay. So, let's uh, first take it out one by one and see what is inside of here, guys, because I have zero idea as to what is inside of it. This looks like a slab. Oh no, it's not a slab. Oh my god, it's a Pokemon pack. Oh my god. And I think this means it's a heavy pack, guys. 21.31. Magician's Force and Cybernetic Revolution. A retail pack. But that's still insane. Oh my goodness gracious. What? What? Okay. I think he did say there was going to be some Pokemon uh, packs that not, are not to be opened in here. I'm not going to open these. Because I think you said there was one sachet. I think this might be the one that we're not going to open, guys. So I'm probably just going to put this down for the side. Because those are some ridiculously expensive packs. We've also got a Barrel Dragon from Lost Art. Which is pretty cool. Nice little sealed uh, large card there. What is inside of here? Let's just take a little look. I think there's some foils. I see a Shadow Vampire in here. Let's get this open. Might, might as well just use the scissors on these because I don't think there's anything important. Righty ho. There we go. We've got some random foils. We've got a Shadow Vampire. We've got a Vampire Duke. A Ghost Trick Sokud Boss. A Mecha Phantom Beast. Nerva the High Paladin. Boralend Dragon times two. And Salaman Great Blaze Dragon. Nice. Pretty cool hollow foils to go. Okay, I'm liking this mystery box, guys. I can already see a box of Dawn of Majesty. A beautiful packet of card sleeves, which we will definitely be needing. A deck box from Ultra Pro, green color, nice. Always nice to have deck boxes, guys. I think they are a good way of storing cards, especially if you want to like divide a certain set or a certain deck from another. Really, really useful. Then we've got we've got some. Uh, what's inside of here? Oh my God! Oh wow! We've got some. Uh, some incredible packs. We've got a Ghost from the Past, the Second Haunting, some First Edition Portuguese Virgin of Blue Eyes, Judgment of the Light, Duelist Alliance, a movie pack. Oh my goodness gracious. Order of Chaos, First Edition, Ancient Prophecy, Euro, Grand Creators, Ancient Guardians, and a Brothers of Legend. Wow, we can get some insane stuff. We will be opening all this in the video, guys, as well. We've got a Dawn of Majesty booster box. Let's see if we can get that Stardust Dragon Starlight Rare. Then we've also got a power cube. Oh, wow. Okay, we'll be opening this as well. Some pretty cool packs in there. I can see a Duelist Alliance. And we've also got a 25th anniversary Pokemon binder to put our cards in. So that's really, really nice. And guys, if you haven't checked out Clerks Trading, by the way, a massive shout out to them. Really cool company. I actually met with the owner, uh, Ray, in uh, Comic-Con in Liverpool, which was a really cool time. So let's just move that box out of the way, guys. Lay out our beautiful uh, items. And um, I'm going to start off with this... Uh, I don't even know where to start, guys. It's not its not normal that I get so many items in a video, but let's start off with the Power Cube. Yeah, really, really rare item, Power Cube, honestly. Um, like I say, I don't really get, get the chance to open many of these because in the UK, unfortunately, there's not much um, product like this. But it comes with some legacy packs. Look at that, Sniper. I doubt, I doubt any of those cards actually come in here, but they might do from the packs that you get. So here's the Power Cube. Boom, look at that. Pretty cool. 
little leaflet here for the power cube. Very nice. Looks, it does look nice. It does look nice. I've got to give it to them. They've done a good job. Um, wherever it is, Walmart or Target, where these come from. And that's actually a nostalgic... That's a very nostalgic smell, guys. Strangely nostalgic. Very weird. So we have a... Oh, a... This is a... Uh, oh, no. It's a lost pendulum. I thought that came from a different set. But let's see our common cards. There's normally nothing good that comes in here. Oh, a Stardust Overdrive. Euro pack. That's insane. So... Let's see what we got out of our power cube, guys. Nothing that I can see. Ooh, Uni Zombie's nice. Definitely a nice card. Um, Gem Knight, Harpy Lady 1. There's nothing like I can see here that's pretty much worth anything, which is a shame, but still pretty cool. Drop Off, nice. Uh, no foils, I don't think. Blackwing, a bird of roses. Rose Lover's a pretty cool card, actually. And Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon, yeah, not bad. Guys, not bad at all. Not bad commons. So we've got three packs. Oh, the Secret Forces as well. We'll start off with. I think this is an all hollow pack. A Ritual Beast Ulti Apelio for our Secret Rare. Nice. A Yosen Training Grounds. Manju of the 10,000 Hands. Spiritual Beast. And a Yosen Juice Secret Move. I'm loving this, guys. I'm loving the... Uh, this is going to be a longer video, so if you are enjoying it, drop a like and see if we can get something insane. So we've got a... Uh, a Duos Alliance up next. See if we can get that Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon Ultimate Rare. That'd be insane. Battery Man, 9 Bolt. Super Heavy Samurai. Spicy Spy. Agent of Entropy Uranus. And Breaker of the Dark Magical Warrior. Just a rare. Gaia the Midnight Sun. Pretty cool card, actually. And Perform Power Skeeter Skimmer. Okay, let's put our foils to one side and our bulk to another. Guys, Stardust Overdrive now. It's funny how they have European packs in the uh, mystery cubes. You can see the EN little dot on the back there. Very interesting. Let's see if we can get something good out of our Stardust Overdrive. Oops, it's upside down. We have an Energy Bravery, a Reptilian Medusa, a Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, a Ground Spider, and just a Zero Gardener. Rare, unfortunately. Stardust Overdrive, for some reason, is really difficult to actually pull something out of. I've always found it to be a really complicated set. For whatever reason, I don't know. Should we go for the Dawn of Majesty booster box next, guys? And then we'll go for some more random packs. I think we should do that. Absolutely. Dawn of Majesty, guys. There's still really good cards in here, like branded openings, super rare. That's worth quite a bit of money. It's still like a $20 card or like £20 card here in the UK. Maybe about 15, but still holds some really good value. If we do pull a Starlight now, I will be absolutely over the moon. Even if it's uh, one of the bad Starlights, but still. I opened about eight of these boxes at Comic-Con and didn't get a Starlight, so they might be from the same case. You never know. Okay, let's see what we can get. Chronomaly. Yeah, guys, let me know how your collections are coming along. I have been spending a lot of time reviewing mine guys sort of thinking about what my collection goals are for, for 2022 and really it's my channel because i wanted to invest into my channel and uh, make sure that we keep it casual all the way and stardust illumination is our beautiful uh first ultra rare of the box what i mean by the channel guys is setting goals how we're going to grow how we can improve on video video on video and just really having a uh, a really nice time together um, opening uh, Yu-Gi-Oh packs, guys. Basically it. Come on, Dawn of Majesty. Gukani, the Guki, the the uh, the ships, the Sioux ships. That's what they're called. Jar of Generosity. I love how the jars are trap cards and the pots are spell cards. Pot of Greed, Jar of Greed were the first two to set that uh, set that trend, I think. Ooh, we got a secret rare. Oh, Ready Fusion. Damn, not a secret rare that you wanted, guys, unfortunately. We obviously wanted, uh, well, I was going to say um, Aluba, the Jester of Vespia, but he's not that expensive, even a secret rare anymore, because it goes from the past reprint. And we just really want to get a branded opening. Ooh, a Pendulum, unfortunately, Pendulum Treasure. Despian Tragedy, we want to get those Despia cards and those branded cards. Yes! Despian Quietis! Let's go! This is a pretty expensive Ultra Rare, guys, which I will be sleeping up. I've got my sleeve right here. 
So this is like a uh, $15 card, guys. Uh, maybe a little bit less. But here in the UK, it sells for like £20. Because, as you say, the UK is just a bit of a smaller market. There's less cards, and you can sell them a bit more. Especially like here in, in, uh, in Europe and the UK. So that's a really good, uh, really good ultra, right, guys? Probably one of the best ultras you can get, Konomaly. Let's go Better Call Yugi. What an absolute legend for allowing us to open these on the channel, by the way. If you want me to open anything for you on the channel, if you're watching this in the UK or in Europe and have a product that you, you're really keen to open and you want other people to watch it being opened and you think it'd be some good fun, definitely drop me a message on Instagram, guys. I will give you a uh, mailing address and you can, me, you can send me whatever you like to open. Like I say, the more stuff, the better, because I just love opening stuff. Another secret rare. Guys, Synchro Overtake is our second secret rare. Not a great one, I don't think, um, unfortunately. So we've got two secret rares from the right hand side. Can you get three secret, secret rares per box? I know it's only two, so we've had two ultras, two secrets. B Trooper Formation. We need a branded opening to make this box pretty decent. Gukan Ship Shari. Branded opening! Let's go! I just called it! We got a branded opening. Girl. Super rare, beautiful card. Really nice artwork, actually. Really, really cool. So two high-end cards, guys. Two cards over $10. Pretty good box so far. Let's see what the second side has in store for us. Magic E Beast. East Fusion Tuner effect, that is. Very interesting. Let's see if we can get that start. Like, ooh, Protector Spirit Logieth. Nice. Very cool ultra rare. I'm gonna take out these cards from these booster packs from the from there, guys. So far, so good, you know. Despion Tragedy. Magic Key Dragon. Stardust Trail. A Magic Key Mech Musket Bato Buster. Alien Stealth Buster. And another branded <coughs> opening! Let's go! Guys, this is insane! Sometimes you get a really good box like this one and you can almost profit on what you paid for it. So, oh my god. Oh, if we had better secret rares, this would have been a godly box, honestly. Wow. So, so far, two branded openings and a Despian Quietus. This is insane. This is a great box. Wow. Can we get another branded opening, maybe? Oh my goodness. Gook and Ship Shari to dangle. Honestly, guys, that's, that's pretty impressive. Two, but sometimes I think I only got one branded opening from like three boxes that I opened. Seriously, three or four boxes that I opened, I only got one. I didn't even get a Despian Quietus. This is insane. Chronomaly Vimana, yeah, classic. Let's see if these starlights behind the uh, the ultra rare. There's a little say famous saying that that used to be the case. So I'm beyond the branded Trailer Dragon, not bad. Three more packs, guys. Three more packs. What do we have? Ooh, Digusto. Unfortunately, just the Digusto. Covering Willis Dragon and a Live Trin Sunny uh, Snitch. Last pack magic, guys. Regardless, whatever's inside of here, this was an incredible box. And it's a amazement. Astant Delia. Okay, guys, let's move this bulk out of the way. Uh, yeah, great box from Dawn of Majesty. Wow, by far the best box I've opened in a while. Really good pulls. So far, so good for the video, guys. We've got some really nice pulls. Let's crack into part three of the video, you could say. These amazing random packs. Now, let's see if we can get a ghost from Ghost from the Past 2. I've never pulled... Uh, what's his face? Our beautiful uh, Red Dragon Archfiend. So, let's see if I can do that. Oh, it's just a Shell Knight, unfortunately. So, nothing out of that. Time for some Legend of Blue Eyes. Let's see if we can get some old school magic. And in fact, I wanna. Oh man, it smells great opening these packs. Wow. Amazing. Okay, so Miss Dark Sheep, Mystic Sheep, something like that. Uh, Triple Wire Beast, uh, Skull Redbird, Mizurazame. Oh, and a man eater bug! Super rare! Insecto Devorador de Homines. And Yumi at the end there. That's a beautiful pull. This almost looks faded, guys. A really, really nice card, actually. Man-eater bug. Let's go, guys. 
Boom. Look at that. Beautiful card. And another one. We've got another LOB. This one feels really thin. Feels like there's cards missing. Are there cards missing? Oh! Oh! A little bit bent. Our uh, cards are a little bit bent. Poor Silver Fang. We've been through the wars there. Uh, King Fog. And just a uh, Armed Ninja in that pack. It's funny how you can open these booster packs, guys, and they're basically LOB, but just a different language. It, just, it does it does fulfill that nostalgic smell and feel to the cards. They're really good. Really good investment, I think, guys. Not investment. Good for some fun, basically, if you want to have a cheaper way of opening LOB. Judgment of the Light, the set that I've opened so much of in Unlimited and pulled so many Ghost Rare Star Eaters. Can we do it again? Super Defense Robot uh, Leo. Star Seraph, Super Defense Robot Leo, Bujinte, and just a DZW Chimera clad, unfortunately. Just another rare. Duelist Alliance is up next. Good set. They're all good sets that we're opening here today, guys. Performer Pal Skeeter Skimmer, Curse of the Shadow Prison, Battle Guard Howling, Gaia, and a Malbranch of the Burning Abyss. Skarm Malbranch of the Burning Abyss. Metaphys Armed Dragon is pretty cool. It's basically Armed Dragon level 7 normal monster. Usually visible despite its phantom existence. Cool. So this Yu-Gi-Oh! The Movie Pack, I think, contains an Arbalist Little Mentor. I'm not too sure. Let's find out. Or is it a, uh, is it the one that's contains Blue Eyes Shining Dragon? Is this the modern one or the old one? I think it might be the old one. I don't actually know. Let's find out, guys. Pyramid of Light. Oh my god, this card used to be the boss card to have on a in the playground back in the day. Oh my god. If this card picks up and removes from your side of the field, destroy Andrew Sphinx and Sphinx Taylor on your side of the field and remove them from play. Oh my gosh, what a classic. Pyramid of Light, man. Honestly, I, people used to say this was the most powerful card in Yu-Gi-Oh back in the day when we were kids, and I believe them. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, let's get into a Order of Chaos first edition now. So if we get anything good out of here, it would be the Ghost Rare uh, or Ga 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 Girl, which is a secret rare. That'd be nice. Photon Crusher, Dijen Force, Numerat Testudo, Wind Up Honeybee, and just a dark flat top, unfortunately. I thought we had a foil there, but it's just a, uh, a regular synchro. Dark flat top. Let's open Ancient Prophecy last to end the video, guys. Let's go for some of these modern stuff now, like Grand Creators. Castile, the Sky Blaster Musketeer. Insector Hopper, Insector Extra Beetle, and Exosister Jerobine. Ah, we've got Grand Creators and Ancient Guardians. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Virtual World, Exo Stag, and Punk Trap Card. Ancient Guardians now. Again. So there were, uh, we had the Grand Creators and Ancient Guardians. Nice. I think Ancient Guardians are slightly better than Grand Creators. A lot of Riches. <sighs> Soft Chord Elegance. No worries. Brothers of Legend. Good set. Can we get our beautiful Forbidden Droplet or even a Starlight Potential? Um, just a couple of Ultra Rekariba cards. I think we do have a good Secret Rare. Oh no, it's Lazuric Bird Strike. I forgot it's a Secret Rare in every every pack, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's uh, not so good in the end, but... Not bad, guys. What a mystery box. This has been so much fun. Let's crack open Ancient Prophecy and please end on an ulti or something higher than a super, like a rare. I'll even end on a super rare. Come on, let's keep it casual. 5Ds, please. Armed Sea Hunter. Morphtronic. Magnum Bar. Hydro Pressure Cannon. <sighs> We've got a foil. We do have a foil, guys. What is it? It's a monster card. What's a good monster card foil from this set? Oh, it's XX Saber God Strike! Let's go! A secret rare! Wow! Oh my goodness gracious! A gorgeous secret rare! XX Saber God Strike! What a great Oh, actually, not an expensive one, but still a really cool secret rare. Wow. That's insane. What a nice card. Good back in the day, you know. Beautiful guard strike. What a card. Wow.
definite highlights of the, of the video, guys, have been these four cards right here. I've really enjoyed this mystery box, guys. Unfortunately, we're not going to be opening these packs because for obvious reasons, they're extremely expensive. And I can't do that to Better Call Yugi. So, guys, keep it casual. If you enjoyed the video, remember to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm giving away a whole sealed deck. And, um, yeah, what more can I say, guys? Let me know if you enjoyed it and if you will be purchasing a mystery box from Clerks. I'm one of the only companies in the UK to be doing mystery boxes. So, definitely check them out. Links down below. All the links are down below that you'll need, guys. Stay safe when collecting, guys. My fellow duelists and collectors, keep it casual. Ciao for now.